Hello there and what's up guys, my name is Caleb and welcome back to Day of the Tentacle. Uh, this game has been sitting on my... gross? My back burner for a while. So we are going to get this game completed, because I have found a walkthrough. Come to this game taken care of and get over with. So let's do this fast and let's do this quick. Let's go. Alright, so I need to give Laverne the fig barf and the fork. Alright, so I need to put this name tag onto my mummy for the human show. Well, that's the spirit. Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Um, going now? Ah, here it comes. My finest hour. Um, I think I'm missing something here. Can I go up to the human show? Alright, so I need to make sure that the mummy has hair. That's one of the uh, parts of being judged on. Into the fork. Make it all nice. Don't eat that. Ah, that's gross. Alright, with the dentures inside the mummy here. There we go. It's an award winning smile. You give the scalpel to Bernard, and then Bernard can go over here and finally get rid of his nightmare of Uzo. And then we can use his voice box and give that to Laverne. Laverne can use that on the mummy. Now I need to use the barf on Harold to get rid of him. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick. Now how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. Well, that's too bad for Harold, but good for me. All right, let's start this uh, judging contest. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> a classic. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. I like the quiet one with the big T. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done.
Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. All right, now that we've won the uh, human contest, let's get moving here. Glad you're here. What kept you? Uh, well, I hate to say it, sir, but uh, there was some trouble with one of the humans. Trouble? What sort of trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle, but I've noticed something about the humans that may pose a problem. Do continue. Well, sir, in general, they seem to be a bit larger than us tentacles. You know, taller, heftier, more massive. I get the picture, son. I don't mean to carry on, sir. It's just that it makes me feel inadequate, small, inferior. Out of Before you go off the deep end there, let me tell you why I called you here. You see, I've invented something which will end our troubles with those glandular leg walkers for good. I've invented the diminuator. The what? It's a shrinking ray, don't. Oh, I get it. Now I need you to get me a few parts so I can finish the thing. Come over here. Okay, so I need to use the booby gun on the fence. This ought to be good. Okay, so I've made a skunk. Now we need to get that squeaky mouse toy. Uh, uh, uh. Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. Alright, now let's get this mouse toy from this cat. There we go, we give that to Laverne. And then Laverne, we use this with this cat. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Another specimen. Now I've got a cat. Gotta give this thing to this guy. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. Alright, now that he is gone, you turn off the force field. Turn off the force field. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should! Big deal! I said you're free, now get off your fat lazy butts and start enjoying it! Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals. Lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Speaking of skunks... Here's a skunk. Hey, look! A skunk! Ah! 
Come back here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Alright, now that he's gone, let's continue on here. Now I've got access to the grandfather clock. Let's hop on down there. Need to give, um, Red the help wanted sign. What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone, mm, assist genius, yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh... So pick up your lab coat and get to work. Alright, so let's pick up the lab coat. I need to give the vinegar to Hoagie, so we're going to make the battery. I need that too. Pick up the gold bladed cool pin. Alright, let's give these to red so you make the battery. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. All right, Red, here's some ingredients. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. And one more. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. Oil, you need oil too. Here we go. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Or I could take it now. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Alright, let's get out of here.